the obviously the two names that also stood out to me in terms of just the shockers, right? And obviously keeping seven receivers was a little bit of a shocker. The other for me was keeping just three offensive tackles. Right. But also keeping both Derek Watt and Connor Hayward when I'm looking at us only having three tackles. When I'm looking at us only having this amount of guys, that amount of guys, that's the part of me. Keeping seven where, receivers. Yeah, I'm just like, <sighs> Are you like, really surprised, though? I'm not, but I am. Deep down, are you really surprised? You, you want to know why, though? <laughs> this is why I am. Because in one moment, we talk about how you can't make the club in the tub, right? And we talk about how certain players get cut because they're not available. Then we talk about Derek Watt, and it's like we just kind of forget that whole narrative. And I'm just like, how does that work? And I, I feel like I'm missing something outside of the obvious. But then I'm like, no, I don't want it to be that obvious. I don't want it to be that. It is. I, it has to be, right? Because I'm just trying. Like, that didn't make sense to me at all. And I think we just got to be fine with it. I, you're right. Because <laughs> I'm just sitting here like I'm really trying to figure out. And it's not. It's like I said, it's not a personal thing with Derek. But to me, I'm just like. How are you justifying not just keeping him on your roster, but the money you're paying him as well? I look at Derek Watt as the fullback slash fourth RB. And I'm just asking myself, I'm like, well, you're going to tell me he's a special teams guy. And I'm fine with that. But don't we have, quote unquote, special teams guys? What is Miles Killebrew? Isn't he the special teams guy as well? Like, I thought we just paid him this offseason to be a special teams guy. Let me let me go down this list, man. Let's see what the special teams guys we have over here. Um, um, Mark um, Robinson now. Uh, yeah, well, he's definitely going to be a guy. I'm excited about him on special teams. But I'm not even throwing him in there. But I'll tell you what, Robert Spillane, he's a special teams guy as well. He's a productive player out there. Benny Snell. What is Benny Snell? Special teams guy. Makes tackles. That's his job. Miles Boyd. What do you think Miles Boyd is going to be early on? The special teams guy. So, for me, I'm just like, I hear that narrative, but I just don't fully agree with it based on what else could be out there like when i think of that I'm, is really it because historically yeah. he barely plays are we expecting that to change this year all of a sudden with i'm just better saying. offensive weapons at receiver pat fryermuth coming into his second year i thought i was going crazy bro i was over here trying to just figure Connor out like, hayward even okay. if you want to talk about Derek tuska a gives better you special version. Teams productivity bro like i'm just we can go down the list of guys that are like yo he's a special teamer he's a special teamer He's a special teamer. Oh, these are special teamers, and not like the 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 like the the great value. We're like, no, these are quality teamers. Guys, you watching? You are like, no, these are guys you depend on. These are guys that play teams. They're double digit guys. Like, that's what you want. So it's like we have multiple guys like that, but we have the quote unquote special teams ace that we just paid, Miles Killebrew, and we feel his impact. We see it out there. So that's my thing. Where I'm just like, I didn't necessarily. Like, if I'm going to keep four running backs, why not keep Anthony McFarlane as well? Like, that's what I think. Right. Or or let me go initially keep a Joe Haig or keep a John LeGlue. Like, I'm, th- I'm thinking, like, that area. Or even keep a Buddy Johnson, for crying out loud. Like, those are some of the things, like, when I'm looking at that initial move right there, I'm just like, Connor and Derek here at the same time. We saw what Connor was doing this offseason or uh, this preseason. What do you think they're going to be using Derek Watt so differently than how they were using Connor in that phase? Like, I just don't, I don't see that right now. When Derek Watt's in, we're probably running it. Running it right up the middle. Or maybe we'll hey, do hey, a fullback dive. How do you think that's going to work out, too? I'll just ask for a friend. Not good, because I even noticed mm-hmm. in the last preseason game, whenever mm-hmm. we had, like, two or three tight ends out there, just big body uh-huh. formations, I'm like, we're running this ball up the middle. What are uh-huh. we doing? Oh, okay. I could call that. Uh, okay. So so when he comes on the field, what do you think everybody's going to be saying? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Especially if he's only getting in. Well, would we say the snap average for him for the year? Like Three. If you wanted to do an over under. Over under four snaps a game, right? Uh, four or five. Yeah. What would you What would you bet? <laughs> I'm going with the under. So every time he's in, in terms in, of offense, like not special teams, like offense, it's like yeah, I'm going right. with the under. Right, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> That's my thing. He was the one for me. Where it was like I said, I just. I didn't want to agree that that was the reason why he's here. Um, I did see somebody in the chat. They, <laughs> it was Gene Ashley. They said it's like Switzer being back, <laughs> and I'm just like, bro, I, I, I see it. I, I understand. I didn't want to think that it was like that, even though in my heart I kind of knew it was like that. I'm just like, no, Deke, it's not like that, Deke. No, we it can't Switzer, be though. like that. I. Think about how long it took. It, it wasn't like an easy thing, man. Well, Derek Watt's making it through his contract. At least. I know, bro. I do I think see. Derek Watt, 
will give us better special teams. Value. Yes, yes. Switzer didn't drop the ball though. We could say that. Fair. But we were weren't getting more than five yards whenever he was trying to return. But we did feel the presence of when he was not back there returning, we would lose possession. That 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 was not cool. I guess we took that for granted. That was not yes. cool. Yeah. 